Hey guys, Fregner22 here, and welcome back to part 5, which I believe is going to be the final part of my entire Blu-ray collection video series. Now, once this wraps, this is I'll have showcased all of my Blu-rays in my collection that I have, um, you know, all together, so every DVD update after these videos is just going to be everything after, so I mean, I'm showing you guys everything that I have up until this point. So, um, without further ado, let's get into the last batch. Um, the next one that I have is one of my favorite films of all time, and it's brought courtesy again from the Roger Corman cult classics line, and that is Rock and Roll High School from 1979, directed by Alan Arkish, um, stars PJ Souls, and of course the Ramones. Um, I love this movie. Uh, it looks great on Blu-ray. It sounds wonderful, and it's just like packed to the brim. Like for this being one of my favorite movies, I still haven't even gotten through all the special features. There's just that many of them, but this is such a solid film. It's amazing to have it. I have the original um, 2005 DVD. I have the new um, D this DVD, and then I have the Blu-ray. So I own this movie three times. I have the original poster. I've met PJ Souls. Like I'm obsessed with this movie. I love it. It's funny. It's awesome. It kicks ass. It just embodies everything of what it, you know what you know, rock and roll is all about and fun times in high school, so absolutely check this one out. This is a must-see. Um, the next one that I ha got, this was a blind buy, but I had heard a lot about it before I bought it, and it stars um, Kristen Stewart as Joan Jett and Dakota Fanning, uh, Dakota Fanning as Cherry Curry, and it's the biopic um, The Runaways. Um, this is cool. I actually dug this movie a lot. It's um, It looks really good. Um, it's a gritty little film. It sounds really great. I mean, the sound, the I think I would, the picture looks great. I mean, the PQ is really good on it, but I definitely have to give um, the audio quality, um, you know, like the highest, you know, um, compliment on this release it's really good for that but um as a biopic it's really good and both girls really play their roles really well so this is um this is definitely uh, one to check out a, a rental at best um the next one that i got was on sale uh, i did a blind buy on this and i still haven't watched it yet surprisingly but it's arnold schwarzenegger in uh, the running man and from what i understand um stephen king is um the author of the short story that this is based on but, uh, yeah, this is from 1987. Like I said, I still haven't gotten around to watching it, but I got it uh, pretty cheap, so I'm excited to check this one out. I've always seen, like, bits and pieces of it online and on movie channels growing up, but I've never sat down and watched the whole thing, so I wanted to finally get around to it. Um, the next one that I got is another classic from Stanley Kubrick. It's a Stephen King adaptation. It's uh, the 1980 classic, The Shining. Um, this looks really good on Blu-ray. It grazed through scenes, and um, it looks great. Like, just the whole um, design, you know, all the backgrounds, even the fucking carpet in this um, in this film looks really good on Blu-ray. So, yeah, it's... Um, although I have never read the book The Shining, although I, I hear it's not the greatest adaptation, Stanley Kubrick just kind of went wild and did his own, and, uh, you know, all the better, because it made, you know, cinematic history. It's a, an incredible film. Um, the next one that I have, um, <clears throat> I reviewed in the At The Movie section. I loved this movie, but I've yet to watch it again on Blu-ray, but I've heard that it sounds good. It's uh, Leonardo DiCaprio in Martin Scorsese's Shutter Island. Like I said, you can tell from my review in the At The Movie section that I really, really dug this film, and I've heard that um, the PQ and the sound quality is just really great on this one. Uh, next one I got is... Um, Another Tim Burton film starring Johnny Depp and Christina Ricci from 1999. And if you go to the 31 Frightening Days of Halloween Marathon um, for 2010, although it was short-lived, I you know managed to squeeze in five reviews, and this was one of the films that I reviewed on Blu-ray, and that is Sleepy Hollow. Um, great. It tells the story, of course, of the Headless Horseman, Ichabod Crane, the whole nine. This one sounded and it looked really, really good. I was just... I had to turn it down at sometimes because it was, like, so... Um, you know, just so overwhelming the sound quality on this. But this is a great, um, you know, it, it's probably best washed around Halloween time, but it really plays like a classic, you know, classic old Hammer Horror movie. But it's great. I, I love this. I wish, uh, I would like to see Burton kind of do another um, direct horror movie like that. But uh, we're in luck because I think him and Johnny Depp are adapting um, the television show Dark Shadows into a film, which should be uh, something to look forward to. 
Uh, the next one that I got is the Blu-ray DVD Diamond Edition of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I have yet to watch this, but I've heard nothing but amazing things, as you can tell from the series of these videos. That's what you come to expect with Disney Blu-rays. They are probably one, uh, one if not the best um, you know, suppliers of Blu-ray. They just know how to give a good product to their customers. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it looks great. I can't wait to get around to watching this. I just have so much on my plate to watch, as you guys can tell. There's just really not enough hours in the day, but this is one that I think everybody should have. It's classic. Another one that I got is uh, was a pretty cheap deal, and it is 1987's Spaceballs. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Who doesn't love Spaceballs? Next one I got is another Roger Corman cult classics film, and that is Star Crash. This is the most recent one. It's special edition. This one uh, I talked about pretty ex um, pretty extensively in a, a previous DVD update. Um, it looks great. Really looks awesome on Blu-ray. Good cheesy uh, flick. Um, I saw this movie theatrically. Good stuff, but I haven't watched it yet on Blu-ray, and it's J.J. Abrams' um, adaptation of... Uh, film version of Star Trek. I loved this film. I'm not even a Star Trek fan, but this film uh, made me really dig Star Trek. I can't wait for the sequel. Um, <clears throat> the next one that I got is uh, the Ultimate Undead Edition of George A. Romero's Survival of the Dead. Yeah, it looked pretty good, sounded pretty decent. Um, it's not amazing by any means, but it sure as shit is better than Diary of the Dead. Uh, the next one that I got is another Burton film with Johnny Depp, and it's the 2007 musical Sweeney Todd. Great movie, looks and sounds phenomenal on Blu-ray. This is definitely one, especially for all you music lovers out there, this is one you want to have in your collection. Um, the next one that I got was pr uh, pretty recent buy. I got this at a local, or at a BJ's rather, for $23.99, and it's the 25th anniversary collector's edition of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. It comes with the original three movies as well as the 2007 CG film uh, TMNT. So I haven't gotten a chance to cut into them, but I do plan on reviewing you know, at, uh, the first one eventually for childhood flicks picks. Hopefully the whole series, you know, way later in the future. Uh, the next one I got was um, just mainly a complete. This is the director's cut of uh, Terminator Salvation. I thought this was decent in the theaters, but, uh, you know, nothing amazing. I still haven't gotten around to watching the, this director's cut, but from what I've heard, it's actually uh, pretty good, so I'll get around to it one of these days. Next one, uh, I couldn't, you know, I just couldn't really uh, resist on the good deal for this. I've, I think I've only seen the first one, so I can still see the second one. And it's uh, the Blu-ray DVD combo of uh, Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue. These were direct-to-video sequels, but um, or a direct-to-video line of movies, and this is, of course, the third one in the series, but um, they're good. The first one was really good, and from what I've heard, the th they just keep getting better as they go on. I've, I've heard people say that the third one is the best one out of the whole series, so... I look forward to getting through the second one because I, uh, I remember the first one I have from Netflix, so I feel like i got to rewatch it. But, um, yeah, I can't wait to cut into that. Uh, the next one I got is uh, the special edition of Toy Story. Of course, you can expect this is a... Uh, Saw this theatrically in 1995. This is an unbelievable film, and uh, the Blu-ray treatment is just mind-blowing. And of course, without Toy Story um, one, you you know, without that, you gotta have Toy Story two, special edition. Again, looks uh, great. I watched them like back to back when I bought them um, the first day or like the first week that they came out. So this is a solid one to have. And. Uh, you know, without Toy Story 2, you gotta have a little uh, two-disc Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Toy Story 3. I talked about this in a previous DVD update. Loaded with special features and uh, looks phenomenal. A perfect ending to a really classic and um, amazing trilogy. Um, next one I got is a horror film special edition of uh, Trick or Treat, Michael Doherty's film unbelievable. It's a, probably one of the best horror movies to come out in the last five years, easily. Um, it's like an anthology of stories that take place all on Halloween night. Great cast. Anna Paquin, Brian Cox, um, Dylan Baker. Just uh, really good stuff. I, I love this movie. Next one is the Disney Pixar uh, Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Up. 
this one was another great, great film. Just goes to show, uh, you know, the the power that is Disney and Pixar. They just continue to pump out amazing, heartfelt, and um, you know, just incredible films. Just you know, and they look phenomenal. Um, followed up next to up is the two disc set of Wall-E. This was a phenomenal Pixar movie. I mean, I, I didn't see, I didn't talk to anybody that didn't love this and fall in love with the character of Wall-E. I mean, he's fucking adorable. Like, I, I love this movie theatrically, and I this was uh, one of the last ones that's out on um, Blu-ray from Pixar. I still need to get Ratatouille, but uh, this was one of the ones that I needed, and I got this for a pretty good deal for like 18 bucks at the time. Next one I got was a blind buy when I first bought it, and it was uh, Drew Barrymore's directorial debut, Whip It. Um, this movie, I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but it's it's growing on me a lot. I've actually come to enjoy it quite a lot, and you gotta love this like uh, you know bright green Blu-ray case. I love when movies uh, do that. Um, the next one that I got is the digit book of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I was, like, borderline obsessed with this movie growing up, but uh, I have still yet to watch it on uh, Blu-ray, but I've heard great things. It's cool. Nice little uh, book to go along with it. Next one I got, which I still haven't watched, and it's such a crime because I really should, but it's uh, the three-disc Emerald Edition 70th anniversary of The Wizard of Oz. You know, who doesn't like The Wizard of Oz? I mean, if you can claim that you were once a child and you hated The Wizard of Oz, then I don't... I think that you should seek medical help or something, because who doesn't like The Wizard of Oz? Next one is the two-disc unrated director's cut of uh, The Wolfman. Um, there's a review of this in the At The Movie section. I, I dug this actually a lot. I thought it was good. I mean, it's it's not the original by any means, but it works well for, you know, uh, you know an updated take on it, although it's still set, like, in the similar time period that the original was. Um, but yeah, it's really good. And from what I've heard, the director's cut actually helps the film a little, um, helps the film more than theatrical cut did. So that's reassuring to know. Um, the next one I got was, I thought it was a pretty decent superhero movie. Nothing amazing, but certainly not terrible by any means. It was pretty, it was pretty decent. And it's, uh, X-Men Origins, uh, Wolverine. I picked this up last year during Black Friday sales for like 10 bucks. And it was like, pretty new on the shelves at the time, so that was a pretty good steal, but, you know, like I said, it's it's pretty decent, nothing horrible. And the last film that I have, I actually won in a costume contest um, at some Halloween event, uh, like a Halloween party event, but um, I have never popped it in, and it is a uh, wrong turn to dead end unrated, but, you know, for it being free and me not having to pay for it, of course I'll take it, I just have never really been in a rush, although I've heard that it's really good, it's got a lot of cool, uh, practical, um, you know, effects in it, which is awesome to hear, and it has, a uh, Henry Rollins in it. Well, guys, I have successfully wrapped up showcasing you my entire Blu-ray collection over a course of five long videos. I want to thank all you guys for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and comment to my videos if you just want to, just want to stay in the loop with everything that is Frightener 22. So again, a reminder, I've showed you guys well over 100 Blu-rays, which consists of my entire collection. So to stay updated, just keep tuning in to future installments of my DVD updates where I showcase all of... Uh, my recent DVD and Blu-ray buy, so just keep seeing what I have, but I have successfully showed you guys everything that I have at this point in uh, my movie collecting career. So once again, guys, thanks again for tuning into my videos. I appreciate all the support, and I'll catch you guys in a future video. This has been Frightener22.